Good Friday afternoon, everyone. I want to start off from the top by taking a hats off to the Life Science Academy for now being named a Project Lead the Way Distinguished uh, School Program for three years in a row. I think I see a trend here that's occurring, and that doesn't happen without great students who have gone through that program, currently in that program, and then also great teachers, and that's provided by Dr. Wilkerson. Uh, who leads the program along with Mr. Morris and then obviously Amanda Jerome, our district college and career readiness pro uh, coordinator who leads uh, all of our Empower You programs across the district. So thank you so much for the tremendous effort. It's uh, something really that we all knew and it just confirms that, that this is an absolutely great program. Also want to mention Miss Ann Koshy at Davis County High School. What a, an honor she and her DCHS academic team earned by winning first place and also in the state. So first place in the state and sixth in the nation in the 321 online competition uh, most recently. Students presented with a series of visual and auditory clues and have two hours to complete 240 questions. Wow. So we're going to give you a little example of that. Uh, with three visual clues just to see how uh, smart and on our toes we are on this Friday. Uh, get it right with the first clue, you earn three points. If you need the second clue, you get two points. And if you need the third clue, you just get one point. So here we go. This country is home to the largest statue of a horse. Do you know? Well, okay, let's move on to the second clue. It's the least densely populated country in Asia and Buddhism is the predominant religion there. Second clue. All right, let's go with the third clue. Well, okay, let's look at the map and the name of this country that borders both China and Russia. By now, you should know the answer. Mongolia, I got it on the first clue. No, not really. All right, but what a, a tribute to uh, all of our uh, DCHS uh, academic team members who participated in this and certainly uh, Miss Ann Koshy, who leads that team. Great job. Congratulations. A little update on graduation. So there should be a, some uh, information going out in the media over the weekend. Here's a little preliminary view of that. Uh, Davis County High School is going to continue forward uh, with our basic tenet of making sure that our graduates were recognized at their normal scheduled time uh, in a different non-traditional way. Uh, and so Davis County High School is going to conduct that program on Friday, May 15th. And then following that up, next, the Saturday, we're gonna have Heritage Park in the morning uh, on Saturday, May 16th. And then Apollo High School will graduate in the afternoon on uh, Saturday, May 16th as well. So speaking of a tribute to the class of 2020, our transportation department, also with Dylan Hammonds, has helped coordinate a special video that we're going to attach to the Minute with Matt today. You're not going to want to miss that, so make sure that uh, you see that video. The other thing, I saw a video this past week on ABC News uh, where they uh, made a tribute to all of the people across the country uh, who are definitely on the front lines of dealing with the coronavirus. It's called Good Job, a song by, written by Alicia Keys uh, that she produced. And so our own Dylan Hammonds, I charged him with the responsibility of doing that uh, with the DCPS employees who you all are providing an essential service, certainly to our students, uh, both instructionally as well as with the meals that you provided and continuing to follow up with all of our kids during this time. So you don't wanna miss that video because it's really neat and cool. Well, tomorrow, Saturday, May the 2nd is a traditional uh, thing that we've always had event here in Kentucky called Kentucky Derby. It would be the 146th running of the Kentucky, Kentucky Derby. And like many other events uh, that has been postponed, I think September is now the, the, the date that we plan to run the 146th Kentucky Derby. But organizers are broadcasting with a virtual race beginning with the 13 horses that have won the Triple Crown. I think it's Secretariat's going to win. We'll see tomorrow, uh, but my bet's on Secretariat. Uh, finally, I want to conclude with uh, the Kentucky Air National Guard will be doing a special tribute here in Owensboro, Davis County, uh, this afternoon at 4 p.m. Uh, if you can turn your head towards the community college or hospital, this tribute is certainly towards all of our healthcare workers 
uh, at our local hospital, uh, Owensboro Health, who have been on the front lines and helping us. That's about four o'clock this afternoon, so you won't want to miss that. I would be remiss, though, if I didn't say that this also is a tribute to many of you who have done an uh, extremely great job for our, our community and uh, appreciate all the great work that you've put in to make this non-traditional time uh, a once-in-a-lifetime kind of event special for our students uh, and you filled the gap for them. So thank you. I wish everybody has a great restful, relaxing, but safe weekend. See you, everyone.